Hi everyone and welcome to CV channel, the channel about computer vision programming skills for developer. Today I will show you how to implement a pre-trained deep neural network for object detection. Before going to program the open CV from 3.3 or newer must be installed on your computer because from this version it will support the deep neural network and the YOLO network will be used to implement in this video and you need to download the pre-chained weight parameter file and the configuration file and the class name file to download this file you just google it by the keyword YOLO and go into this website and you can easy to look it at here and you just click on this link to download the that's why the first is configuration file and to download the class name file you can go to the data and in here is name coco names and in this project I will build a class it called YOLO network with two public functions is run on frame and get output object the first thing I will create the YOLO net class the first I will use IO stream stream FS stream and the open CV I will use the library I will use DNA network in here therefore I will declare the dnn.hpp an image process The first variable is to save the neural network it called net. You can use it. And the next will be a variable for saving the confident threshold. And the next a is a variable for saving class name the next variable will be a variable for saving the up, uh, output name of the neural network and the first I will be in implement a function when you initialize your class the next is for configuration file and class name file
and the next is two parameter for uh, width and height of the network input you can initialize the parameter at 608 and the confidence and here you can copy the parameter to the cpp file and you just saving it You need to declare a parameter for saving this width and height. The next step will be to load the class name. First, is you need to load the file. You can use the CV access for detect the error. And loading the line because you can see here each, each class name will be in a line different lines you can load it Go to the class and the next step will be create the network. Next. You will use the grid net from dark net.
to set the backend and the touches and here I will set it be default This will be the CPU. That just is the it will make the computation on the specific hardware, and in here it will implement on the CPU. And then you will get the names of unconnected output layer you can use this 